India provides a huge opportunity to do a lifetime of work, uh, to drive change, uh, to help achieve these SDGs, not only 2030, but you know, by 2050, to ensure that really India is like a developed country, not just in terms of economic development, but also in terms of the social infrastructure, in terms of the quality of life that people have, and the opportunities that people have to live a better life. The seed is actually there in our culture. Uh, so I was thinking about, you know, 2,500 years ago and, uh, you know, uh, Gautam Buddha's story. Uh, you know, the, the first instance he saw, uh, you know, uh, an episode of suffering, uh, he kind of crossed over. So he had all the, you know, capital, royalties, uh, endowments, and he could have lived a rich, luxurious life as a prince, a king, you know, lording over his subjects. Uh, which is the first, uh, you know, I guess, touch with suffering that activated something, you know, within him. Uh, and then, of course, you know, we kind of, uh, uh, there has been no kind of the story after that. It's a very collaborative uh, approach to leadership. So the typical construct of, I will lead from the front, my team will follow, I will elbow competitors out and that's how I'll win just does not work because in this sector you might be leading from behind you might be taking people along um, and you really make progress when 10 other people you know you go further when you go together.